All right, guys, so with Coach Helmer here, Peachtree Ridge Lions, man, great practice. Coach, what was your first or kind of just impressions for practice today? What caught your eye? Um, we start a little slow. Um, you know, we have closed practice here, so uh, we kind of invited the parents out. Um, pleased to see tons of parents in the stands out here and, and, and community come out and support us. And, and want to see these uh, uh, 2024 Lions and, and kind of get a good look at them. So I don't know if we we're nervous or what, but uh, it was a little quiet out here at the beginning. But um, uh, once we got into practice, you know, we picked up the pace a little bit. Um, we, we've just been kind of preaching uh, consistency. And, uh, you know, some of us, even our our four-star, five-star guys down to our, our, our new guys, just a little bit um, inconsistent at, at, at various positions. So um, we, we, we got to keep riding that wave, just just get better every day. And then let's talk about just some of your underrated players. We're talking about the, the big-time guys. Uh, just who are some players we should watch that maybe fly under the radar this year that really impressed your practice there just throughout uh, spring practice? Um, there, there's a there's a whole list of them, and, and, and it might sound a little cocky, but I'll put I'll put our secondary up against anybody in the state. Um, of course, we got uh, Dorian Barney, who's the top top corner in the country. Uh, Tyson Sanford on the other side uh, that, that ran a 10-8 last week, started last year uh, as a sophomore. King Thomas playing nickel, he's got offers 26. Uh, Tristan Hill, he's got offers 26. Uh, Osiris Gilbert uh, ran a 10-6 in track, um, he's got 22 offers. Um, so that's your back five. So that, that is definitely, um, right now, I think the strength of our team, um, along with some more offensive skill guys. Um, but those guys, those guys are playing really, really well. Um, good to see some of the guys on offensive, uh, offensive line step up a little bit. We're a little young there, uh, but they've been fighting. And, um, you know, obviously, uh, Darnell Kelly is, 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 our, uh, is our gunslinger back there, and he's pretty darn good. Everybody knows about him. But we've got some young receivers that are coming out here balling. Kobe Hoax, another class of 26. Um, we, we just we think the world of him and just his athleticism, speed, jump ability, uh, catches everything. Um, I think this guy's a little for him too. So. No doubt. And then what do you think is so special about just Dorian and Oscar? As you said, you think the second going to be special. What makes those guys stand out, Coach? Um, we, you said Dorian or sorry? Yes, sir. Um, you know, Dorian just, you know, he's long. Um, you know, he gets it, you know what I mean? Uh, in and out of his breaks, um, reading the ball, reading the routes, reading the quarterback. Um, you know, I was lucky enough to coach Sante Samuel back in the day, and he was probably the smartest corner that I've ever coached. And um, I put Dorian uh, right behind him at, at, at 1B or, or 2, whatever you want to call it. Um, he, he's just so dang smart and, and has a nose for the football. And um, pleasantly surprised last year uh, as he got stronger. Really, really played really physical and came up and popped people, whether it's breaking on a route, a receiver, or even helping out in a run game. And um, same with Osiris. You know, he's, he's 5'10 and a half, um, 166 pounds, so uh, not the biggest guy in the world, but, you know, he's, he's a 4'4 kid that, that can fly, um, plays with uh, nastiness, plays a little chip on his shoulder. And, um, you know, he's fast. He's not afraid to hit either. So um, you got guys like that in the secondary that fly around and are physical. Um, got something good. Well, a couple more, I'll let you go, Coach. Yep. Talk about the running back room. That's what really caught my eye today. You got some good depth there. You got, obviously, Bryce Green. You got Justin uh, Davis as well. Talk about just that running back room, how deep it is. Yeah, yeah. We uh, we returned all running backs from last year. Um, Justin Davis uh, probably is our is our best-looking guy coming out the weight room. Um, you know, he's yoked up. Bryce Green uh, was fabulous today. I mean, just catching catch passes out of the backfield and, and find a hole, and he's he's got a burst. Um, another class of 26. Um, Cedric Addison, a little banged up from track. Uh, he was a starting running back last year. Uh, he's class of 26. And then another guy, Nate Crowney, you know, started as a sophomore, you know, two years ago. So, um, you know, that's a, that's a pretty good room. They've been working hard, and, and uh, I like to see them. They're challenging each other. Um, you know, we're mostly a, a, a one-back uh, team and everything, so uh, uh, we, we, we toss the ball around a little bit, so uh, we're going to get limited carry. So those guys are really fighting for, for spots right now. Last one. What impresses you mostly just about Darnell Kelly, your gunslinger, is going to be your QB1, obviously getting a lot of offers coming in, Coach. And then what are you most looking forward to next week against Milton in the spring game? Um, with, with Darnell, um, I, I know it sounds cliche or cheesy or whatever, but, but he just worked his, his, his butt off in the weight room. And um, I've had some really, really good quarterbacks in the, in the past, and I don't think they mind me saying this because they know it. They do not like the weight room. And, um, you know, he's in there, um, benching 230-plus, loves power cleaning. Uh, doesn't shy away from squats, and, and he's put on some really, really good weight this year. And um, and he's definitely got got a lot faster. Um, started off the year in track and, and running mid 11s in the hundred, uh, which is which is pretty darn good for uh, a tall, uh, call him lanky, but uh, a taller taller quarterback. He can he can run, and, and just just his his development over the last 12 months has been, been really impressive. Um, you know, as far as Milton, uh, 
uh, Coach Reeves to play this game. I don't know how a good idea is now. Uh, seeing that they return, um, you know, 95% of the team, and they're. Uh, uh, but I wanted to, I wanted to see what we're, we're at after spring, and um, you know, it's a good measuring stick. Um, we want to play the best, beat the best, and uh, right now, you know, they're they're the best in in Georgia, coming off state championship year, and, and most of their best players are, are coming back. So uh, it's gonna be a good challenge to see where we're at physically. They got some big old dudes, and, and added another tight end, so uh, they got the most tight ends in the history on one team with, with FBS offers. I've never seen it like it. Um, and of course, they got a quarterback, and, and they got kids that can run, and and, and you know. You know, Johns Creek, we faced them a couple times. They got some really, really tough kids, tough, tough kids. So um, it'll be a good test for us. We're, we'll, we'll see where we're at next week. No doubt. Thank you, Coach, for the interview. No, appreciate you.